Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. So today I wanted to do a quick look inside Physics 101. This is the Mechanics of God's Physical World by Westfield Studios. So I think probably if you've been in the homeschooling world, you have heard of the series, the 101 series. They have general science. I believe it's general science. They have biology, chemistry, and physics 101. They might have some other ones that I'm not, I don't know about. But I did get this physics 101 in my Timberdoodle curriculum kit, the eighth grade curriculum kit. And the reason why I got this was because I don't have this one. I do have the other ones because it just seems like a really good series to have. These are known to be quite a simple, a simple science program, but they do have some additional PDF, PDF documents and things that can help you with completing labs as well. And so I just wanted to have them just in case my kids need them in the future. And so I picked up this Physics 101 and I've been looking into it and I want to share with you what I've learned about this program so far. So as you... So as you can see, this is a DVD set. We have four DVDs here and there are 20 lessons. Now just looking at these lessons at the length of these, they are 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 35 minutes. So you can see that they are roughly 30 to 40 minutes long. This last one is 20 minutes, not quite as long, but most of them are in the 30 to 40 minute range as far as videos go. So they have this and then they do have, like I said, some PDF printouts that can come along with it. So it was a little complicated trying to get the PDF printouts off of these discs. Maybe you won't have the problem that I had, but I did have a little bit of a problem. Basically you have to put in the fourth disc and it's on here. And then on the first disc there are instructions on how to find the PDF downloads. I had a bit of trouble finding that, but I did eventually find it. However, they do also have a way to email and they will send these files to you as well. So if you have problems like I did, you can get these sent to you as well. So first of all, I want to talk a little bit about the videos. It's kind of hard for me to show videos on here. And so I'm just going to let you know what I experienced when I watched these videos. I watched the first two lessons. And what I really do like about this is it is not flashy. However, the explanations that I probably, I'm not sure, maybe it's Wes, Wes Olson, maybe he's the guy in the video. The explanations that he gives are very, very easy to understand and very, just very clear and easy to understand. So I really did appreciate that about the videos. And as I said, they are about this length, so 30 and 40 minutes. So kind of long, in my opinion. I would probably want to break them up into two different segments for my kids just because of their attention spans. But I found the videos very easy to understand, very easy to follow along. And he gave some really great examples that really kind of make the concepts clear. So I really did like the videos that came with this. Now, I'm going to take a look here at the PDFs that they also include and talk a little bit about the program altogether. So it does say in here somewhere that you can just watch the DVDs and just learn that way. But obviously, if you want this to be a course, you do need to add more. So there are, like I said, there's 20 videos. And so you probably end up doing one every Roughly two weeks, I think they say every seven to eight days to make it a 36 week course. Okay, so there are two different PDFs that you can get. I just stuck them together. And so I have two different files in here and I also did not download everything. I just downloaded a sample since I don't really know when we would be using this at this point. So I just wanted to have a sample, a physical copy, so I could show you sort of what is in the PDF files. So one section you get is the gradebook and quizzes. And so 
Here is the table of contents overall. So if you wanna know what they would learn within this course, you could pause and take a look at this table of contents and all the different segments here. Maybe I'll go through the main ones here. So we have introduction to physics, physics of light, light and color, physics of light, mirrors and lenses, physics of light, invisibility and the speed of light, physics of sound, introduction to sound, physics of sound, acoustics, the sound of music, physics of heat, what is there? physics of heat, laws of thermodynamics, physics of heat, refrigeration, hot and cold, physics of electricity and magnetism, what is electricity, physics of electricity and magnetism, outlets and circuits, physics of electricity and magnetism, batteries and the electromagnetic spectrum, physics of motion, the life of Isaac Newton, physics of motion, Newton's universal law of gravity, physics of motion, Newton's first law of motion, physics of motion, the second and third laws of motion, physics of the weird, the life of Albert Einstein, physics of the weird, relativity, physics of the weird, quantum mechanics, and then the future of physics. And so then each segment comes with this. So we have the introduction, the introduction to physics, and these are just some basic notes on the things that they will cover in the video. And then we have some discussion questions here as well. And then here is a segment one quiz. And so it does have the answers as well. So if you wanted to give quizzes, they're very short quizzes here, multiple choice. Here's segment two. So basically the notes for segment two, all the main ideas covered in that video, some discussion questions, and then a much longer quiz over here. And then I jump to segment 20. This is the last one here. So physics tomorrow. So the notes that come with that, and then a quiz. And then here are the answers to the quiz. So that's basically the first little booklet you get. You get all the different notes that go with all the different segments here. And then the next PDF is the course accreditation program. I was doing some research into this to see what they mean by accreditation. And all they really mean is that this will help you be able to use this course to get the 100 and uh, it's usually 150 to 180 hours that your student needs to get a course and to call it a complete science course. And so this is just a guide. It doesn't actually give you accreditation but it is a guide to help you be able to spread these videos out and make it a full complete course for your child. All right, so they have this, this is for the child to have, obviously they can fill in all of these total hours taken to complete the program. It's a time tracker sort of thing and it gives them ideas on what they can do. Okay, so we have a little section here, welcome to physics 101, the mechanics of God's physical world. So I didn't mention this, but obviously this is a Christian program talks about God and creation and things like that. So that is something to know. Okay, so there's a little bit here about Physics 101, but I really want to look at this page here with you. So getting started, the guidebook and the accreditation program. So the guidebook was what I just showed you, and then this is the booklet that we have now, the accreditation program. Okay, so it talks about the ways that you can get the books. You can either download them from the internet or disk D of each DVD set, like I said, or you can write to them here and ask for the files. I think it's possible also to buy a physical copy. I'm not exactly sure, but I did print these off myself. Next, they want to create a Physics 101 notebook. They are told to do that in segment one and all their work, research, and reports will be recorded in this book in whatever form they like. They can use a computer too if they prefer. Have fun with this. It's their notebook, scrapbook, journal of their Physics 101 journey. All right, and then we have collect the lab items. It does have a lab list on the back here. I'll show you that in a minute. We have the big plan. So there are 20 segments in Physics 101. If you do one segment every two weeks, that's two segments every month, it will take you 10 months to finish. And so then they say the accreditation program averages seven hours of work for every segment or about three and a half hours of work per week. So obviously, if you wanted to do five hours of work per week, you would do that a little faster and not take 10 months to do that. 
Okay, we have watched the film and discuss. So once you have an idea of what is ahead, watch the film and talk about it together. Do the discussion questions found at the end of each segment in the guidebook. Then formulate a plan for how you want to do the activities in the accreditation program. And I will show you examples of that. We have labs. There are 32 labs requiring about 40 hours of lab work. Most of the labs are seen in the film. Do the labs before you complete your report. This symbol means the experiment is located about that many minutes into the film, giving a quick way to locate that lab. All right, so that's nice. I didn't see that yet, that the labs are included in the program as well. Reports. Students are often required to do brief research and write reports. This can be on a lab or on a research topic. The reports are 200 words long. To give you an, an idea of the length, paragraphs one and two in this getting started section are about 200 words long when added together. You can use library books, encyclopedias, or internet articles to gather the information. After being written, these reports should be read aloud and discussed by the student to the family or to the teacher. And then sign off each task. A lot of learning is gained by having to explain a concept to someone else. All sections, especially those orally presented to another person, should be signed off by the person who heard the presentation or by the instructor. So we have the items needed for labs. I'm going to bring that a little closer so you can take a look at the sort of things. I have heard that the items are pretty simple and not too hard to find based on other other videos that I've seen on the series. And then here is sort of the plan. So we have the plan for segment one. So it tells you start your physics 101 notebook where you record all your work done in this accreditation program. It should take about half an hour, how long it actually takes, and then someone can sign it. Watch Introduction to Physics is half an hour. Read the guidebook and talk about the discussion questions. So one hour there. Research and report. So this is telling us that the lab is about seven minutes and a half into there. One of the ways the film mentions to show the difference between physics and chemistry is the following statement. The chemist wants everything to be different and is surprised when everything is the same. The physicist wants everything to be the same and is surprised when everything is different. Write this statement in your notebook, then explain what it means. So we have an hour for that, so a 200 word report. And then 17 minutes in, the film talks about three areas in which science is limited. Morality, arts, aesthetics, and the supernatural. Write a report defining each of these and why science is limited in these areas. So a 200 word report there. Rewatch Introduction to Physics and then take the quiz at the end of segment one. Half an hour for those and so a total of five hours for that segment. And then we have segment two which is six and a half hours. So it follows a very similar pattern. We have a lab here. So this is where it's telling you what to do. Okay, we have segment three, seven and a half hours, and we have two labs there. Uh, segment four, five hours, and we have one lab there. So each segment, they basically tell you what to do, and you can just follow this. Okay, so one more thing I want to note that I saw somewhere, and I cannot find it right now. I don't know where I saw it. But I saw that if you follow this program with the target hours, it will get you about maybe 135 hours, which leaves room for about 15 more hours at least, 15 more hours to get the 150. So they do recommend maybe scheduling some field trips, including things like that, and just giving you ex like there's extra time to add in some other things here as well. So that was just something they mentioned, or if your child takes longer, then they just take longer. So that is something that I read about somewhere. I'm not sure where I read that, but I know it was mentioned somewhere in here. So that is a look at Physics 101. I hope that was helpful in letting you know sort of what to expect if you decide to go with this program. Like I said, it is known to be more of a simpler science program one that is not too heavy for kids that maybe are not super loving science and don't want to spend hours and hours and hours on science, but also like that visual, visual type of learning 
but it also includes the guidebooks to help you beef it up a bit and add in those labs and things that you need. So I was very happy with the look of this course. I'm happy to have this hand in case I need it for any of my kids. Yeah, and I think that these videos, it, these videos, regardless of whether or not I use it as a full course, are going to be helpful in just when my kids do any of science course to use these videos as just a way to do a visual introduction to the different topics. So I do like that about this series. So if you're interested in this, I will put a link below to this where it can be found at Timberdoodle. And like I said, I got this as part of my Timberdoodle grade eight curriculum. If you'd like to see all the things I got in this set, I will link my video for that below as well. Thank you so much for coming today and I hope to see you all in a future video. Bye everyone.